Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to today's stream. Let me zoom in so you guys will be able to see what I see. Alright, oh, what the hell? Let me check this. We are going to be adding rust streaks and hopefully finishing our Panzer 3. Okay, all of a sudden I've lost all of the viewers that I had. Uh, that's sad, but... Anyways, welcome to today's video, and um, I hope that all of you will enjoy today's video. And um, for whatever reason, the video is not playing on my computer, and because once again, I'm uh, keeping my computer running in the background so I can see all of your uh, comments in chat today. So, um, if you have questions, if you have any sort of comments that you want to make, leave them in chat. I'll get back to you as soon as I uh, see your comments. So, what are we going to do? Yes, we are using AK's uh, rust streaks today to add some uh, very subtle rust streak effects to the Panzer III. After that, we will be using pigments to the, um, adding pigments to the back of the tank. And then we will finish the stowage, paint some of the stowage, add a wash, add some pigments. And once that's done, I'll see whether or not I will weather the second run of tracks today as well, because I like doing that. And I had a little mishap with the, uh, one of the tracks because one of the the track pins broke and now I have to see how I can fix this just... all right once again as we did with the streaking gram it's important to shake this really well and then of course it's important to take out excess and we have a lot of access on this right now for whatever reason so we have to make sure to Oh, you're, you're, you're supposed to, to, to um, take care of your exams as a teacher. I don't know if I, if I like the fact that you're not learning for your exams, but rather spending time with, with me on the live streams. Then again, as the live streamer, I kind of like the fact that you're here. So, again, we're using our small brush. Dipping the, the tip of it in the paint, and then I have to move this slightly, and then we want to see where we have chips, and just create some streaks. I did, what I said on the last live stream, I did seal this with um, some some matte varnish, so we will not be damaging. The streaks that we did earlier. We are just layering this over the top, basically. So, and again, like with the dirt, we'll let this sit for a second or two. And today, I will actually do something I did not do on the last video, which I caught some flack for. Um, I will put some of the white spirit in a different container so that I won't mess up my bottle of white spirit. So there we go. That should be that should be enough. So what exactly are you learning for then? What is it that you're you're having exams for? Are you in school? Are you in university? What is it that you're preparing for? Almost out of kitchen towel, so I might have to go and buy kitchen towel later on today. Alright, so that should already suffice. Then we take our little bigger brush. Tax law, Jesus. Tax law, so you're in income. Uh, 
and then like we did with the streaking grime just try and blend them in make make most of it disappear I thought you were in Germany and in Germany tax law and, and our tax officers are are, are staying in Edenkoben, which is a town where they have their, their training. Or is it like at a proper university? Like Steuerrecht, I don't know. If you can study at a university. Probably you can. No idea. <laughs> so you probably can tell from my confusion there. Ah, okay, 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 yeah, 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 I messed that up, yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 it's only the Rhinal and Palatinan, Palatinan ones that have to go through Edenkoben, which is in, close to Kaiserslautern, which is where my parents went to get their, um, their tax school work done, because my, my parents were both tax officers, so, yeah. And then, like we did with the um, streaks, of course, always use the flash br f flash, the flat brush to blend it in. Which is, of course, dry at this point. No, no solution or anything on it. And let me see from the front if I like the looks of this. Uh, it's a bit stark in areas. Maybe tone it down a bit more. Don't want to overdo it with the rest because of the reddish tone that just makes makes it a lot like very stark sometimes. So then, once this area is done, let's shake it again, and now we'll do this area right here. Give it a good shake. Oh, let's shake it really well. Hope all of you are having a good day today. Three viewers right now. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for spending your, uh, your time watching me ruin a perfectly good Panzer three. Okay, that might have been a bit too much paint, but never mind. We can we can turn this down and then just like add like smallish, smallish, and you can also add like different effects. So you don't have to streak them. You can also make some. Rusty views to areas where there's a lot of chips. So where there would be rust on a proper vehicle. Because once the, the primer gets chipped off and you, you're down to bare metal, as soon as it gets wet and as soon as there's rain and rain streaks on the vehicle, um, you would definitely um, have um, rust appearing. And again, we let this dry for two to three minutes max, and, and then we can start stomping it with our moist brush. I'll take off my rig now because this is a bit hindering me from, from working this.
So yesterday, we, we, for the first time this year, we reached 20 degrees Celsius temperature-wise, which was great. Enjoyed the day very much. Had to run errands, like I said. Then uh, picked up the the misses from the train station, and then we we spent the day outside and enjoying the weather. So sadly, yesterday there was no time for me to sit here and and, and do stuff for you guys. Sorry for that. But today we're back in full effect. Now this is going to be tough to do, showing you this as well as, as, as seeing this because of the angle that this is in. Because I somehow have to see this. Otherwise I'll screw this up. And I don't want to screw this up at this point because I think so far this is one off, if not the best, best model I've ever built and weathered. I really enjoy the heck out of this. Yeah, I really enjoy the effects that I've created so far. So, don't want to screw this up like now that close to actually finishing this. So, I have to look at this. And of course it's no problem if you, if you actually get some of the rust in the snow because guess what? This would run down there and then at some point, would hit the snow, and there's no problem with the snow catching some rust. Of, of course, the snow wouldn't rust, but the rust would run down there and then get caught in the snow. So, there you go. It's a bit heavy down there, so I'm not entirely sure if I want to leave it like this, but why not? There we go. So. Ah, it's too heavy. Too heavy. Tone it down a little more. The moist brush. All right. I really like this. So. That's that. That's that. So, that's great. Now that we let this dry, I can take out this standard rust pigment from underneath there. And then we can take out our dark mud and Russian earth pigments. And add some of the pigment to the back of the tank because this is basically the only area where I haven't like really gone to town with pigments. So what we are doing going to do now is add pigments there. And I have a special brush for this. Actually it's not a special brush, it's just a very old, very stubby brush. Um that's um coarse enough to do what I want it to do, which is stipple pigments on there. And we'll focus on the, the Russian earth pigment here. Like, don't take too much. And just add it to certain areas around the back of the tank, especially close to the fenders where, where dirt would get caught, like, thrown up and for example, the air intakes were still too uh, pristine. They definitely needed some pigment, so that's why I'm adding pigment to them, making them dirty. Of course, um, you don't want to go overboard on certain areas and leave other areas pristine.
the edges need some some treatment definitely because this is where the dirt would go uh, go yeah That was a bit too much there, now I screwed up big time. That was not good. That was not what I wanted to do there. Uh, again. You see this? this? This now is way too, too much, but yeah. At least it beats uniformity. have to, to add some more to the um, covers of the uh, engine axis hatches um, then of course need to add some pigment to the air intake on the other side here as well this got to be a dirty dirty thing yeah. this song like this is an action. In the middle of winter. So these would catch so much dirt. So quickly. Because. One. For once. The crews just never had the time to. Like clean them off properly. So. They would constantly be under. And they're heavy use with, with not much time to just properly clean them. Who would clean the tank in the middle of winter somewhere in, 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 in the Russian steppe during, during World War? While they're under constant pressure and, 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 and constant duress from the Russians. Nobody would do that. They would always be like, yeah, we'll, we'll do it whenever we get the time and, and when we like don't have to, to deal with too much of those, the, of, of, of the Russians, right? And maybe add some. Some dirt here as well. It's a bit too, too, too clean and pristine. Can add a bit more dirt to the front as well. If we feel, and, and I did feel like it, like this was too pristine and too clean, I can just like, and that's it's, it's a good thing about like oils and pigments. You can work like on multiple levels, and it just creates a nice patina. So. And a three-dimensional look is always what you, you want to achieve. So, now that we've done that, it's time to add some pigment to our stowage. Which would also catch a lot of dirt. And they wouldn't really care about cleaning the stowage, right? I, I, at least I don't think they would at any time think about cleaning the stowage just like some things that are under heavier use of course would not catch as much dirt 
but other areas, especially here in between the helmets, um, it would collect some 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 dirt. Try to be. I'm sorry. Start just out of like. Try to be like deliberate. Don't make it look uniform. Just add some of the pigments. Don't go too bad on it. Just blend in the stowage with the rest of the vehicle. Especially those wooden boxes, like especially the wood grain. There would be dirt in there. Pretty sure about it. The jerry cans at the back would catch dirt, and we'll be adding some uh, some three dimensional dirt to the to the lower half of the of the stowage as well. So right here, this will of course collect a lot more because it's so um. Yes, Seb, that's true, but the thing is, um, uh, on the onset of winter, um, while parts of it would be frozen, but it still, other parts wouldn't yet be, be, be solid, so, keep in mind, it, it collects dirt all the time, like, the tank during that time never was clean, I just, like, I just don't take it that, that they ever had the time to really properly clean them, Except for maybe the onset of spring, where they would sit be like, yeah, no, 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 might be, no, might be a good time to to clean those motherfuckers. So, yeah, they were they were really really dirty. But uh, thank you for the for the input. I of course uh, will keep that in mind when I add some more snow to the track. Good day, by the way. Didn't see you joining earlier, so either either I missed it or oops. Add some more here to these areas right here because because of the fenders missing, lots of dirt would get thrown on top of the front of the hull. I've had these pigments for so long the, the sticker just came off. That's bad. That is not good. That is not good. So Okay, next step, um, take a brush that we haven't used yet, and take some of the white spirit and just dip it onto the, the stowage, just to fix the pigment in place. And capillary action, of course, again, is our friend here. This helps us a lot 
to fix the pigment. I don't need to do it on the on the vehicle though because I think I grounded them into the the acrylics there rather well. So they will be just stuck to the top surfaces there. All right. So that's that. While that happened, let me see what the Oh yeah. The rest streaks. Uh too prominent in some areas. I need to go the, over them again with the moist parish. Like, can blend this a bit more. It's a bit too too stark. Don't want it to be that stark. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Then of course always always clean your brushes. Always clean your brushes, and I forgot something. There needs to be some pigment on top of this box again. I uh, also I forgot to add any pigment to this box. Because this is in a prominent position here on the outside. This would, if the rest catches pigment, this would of course also catch pigment. So. Now that we have done all the top surfaces and, and then that we have um, added rust streaks there and, and we'll add rust streaks in a second to the, the turret, I think we can now move on and do some, some weathering to the road wheels and the return rollers because as you can probably see now, they are still rather pristine. Not a lot has happened to them. So, why don't we weather them very similarly to how we weathered the underside of our tank. We start with the uh, Wilders light brown stony textured, textured earth and we'll apply some of it to our road wheels. Try to be like Don't try to have like every roll wheel look the same. And of course, don't forget the return rollers. Try not to get a lot on the rubber. Oh, that sounds so wrong. And I will probably hear about this in a second. Try to get it on the metal. And we once again need to let this dry and I know there's a lot of drying time in these videos but it is just what happens when you work with either acrylics or oils they all need their drying time with oils the drying time is reduced and yes I knew that you were the one who would be like oh I have to say something about this now I have to I have to I know you Seb I've known you for quite a while now and I know that you wanted to say something about my rubber rubber comment there and then, and you can still do this while this is still wet, because that, that way we also create a nice bond. We go over this with our pigment. And this time, no, I can't say this. This time you can also get some on the rubber. It's not a problem. And I know some people like to do this off vehicle. Uh, I right now like to do it on vehicle just to see how it blends in 
with the rest of the the tank oh, here's another one for you Seb try to keep it on the rims And of course make sure to also get the tires some pigments because they would not be pristine in conditions like this. And then, of course, the return rollers. Also need some good treatment here. It's probably a good idea to not like have any of the, the gray really shine through on the lower end there. All right. So maybe tomorrow night I'll I'll join the hangout. I uh, might have time tomorrow. Okay, so we of course again need to at least pseudo fix this with some white spirit, and as you can see, the white spirit just like. Capillary reaction soaks through this. What you hope? All right, and again. This needs some drying time now. And after that, we will add a layer of Aqua Gloss thinned with water to both create some wet effects as well as permanently fix the pigments in place. You could also use some pigment fixer. But sadly, currently I am out of pigment fixer, so we had to do this differently. And while we're at it, if you have pigment fall down, you can already give the back of the roll wheels on the other side a rub. Oh, why is the language today so... I don't know, it's weird. And yes, um, just don't waste the pigment. And try to... Remove the excess pigment that might have fallen down on your already weathered tank, but it's not a problem because, like I said, the pigment matches the pigment that we used before, and this way you can add some dirt to the snow that we already added there. So how many viewers do we have? Oh, eight viewers. Hello there, guys. I'll be right back. I need to go grab something to drink. I forgot to get myself something before I started this live stream because this live stream was kind of torn out of... Uh... Yeah. I just want to get started. And like I said on an, on an earlier 
for your live stream, I think, one or two days ago. Always stay hydrated. <sighs> yeah, I know, Seb. I know. I know it's very, very hard right now because... And, 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 and it's weird. I'm not even doing this on purpose. It's just that the situation kind of... lend itself to that kind of language. It's just weird. All right, oh, let's put this in its place right there. Yep, roll the, the sprocket. And we'll, we'll need to work on the, the idler in a second as well. Just like. Don't really like the look of this. All right, let's move away the small brushes because I don't want to damage them. They were, well, kind of expensive, and I need them at the later point again. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, some of them have started to dry. Some others are yet, like, not yet dry. We'll just wait a second for them to dry before we can add the um, the aqua gloss. So, are you on the road currently, Seb? Are you, are you in Belgium? Are you in, in France, in Germany? Where, where, where in the world are you right now? Let me know that. That would be great. While we wait, we could just as well um, do something with our idler here. Same treatment. Uh, I need a wooden stick that I can put the idler on. Always a wooden stick's handy here. And then just focus on the center of it. Because the outside would, of course, um, have the, the dirt kicked off by the tracks, but the center of it would be rather dirty with some dirt collecting there. Of course, don't have to be all too careful here because we're going to cover a lot of it in pigments. Yep, this is definitely the um, the aspect of modeling I like the most, except for um, driving under a white flag. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? Could you be a little more specific? And again, use the same pigment that we used earlier for the rest of the model, just so we create uniform, uniform, that it doesn't look like this vehicle was in 79 places at the same time, but just like that the dirt kind of is the same dirt that the other areas of the model have caught. That it looks realistic. Nice. Get it 
nice and dirty. That's what she said. So that means France. Your favorite country. Everybody's favorite country. Everybody loves the Frenchman. Except for the Frenchman. Hello to my French viewers, if I have any. Thank you for joining. I hope you don't mind my uh, snide comments about your country. I was in your country like a couple weeks ago. I love France. Well, the only thing I don't like about France is the, the way your traffic is organized. This is ridiculous. I've never seen anything that bad. Like four lane like roundabouts? What the hell is this about? Who needs four lane roundabouts nobody nobody in their in their right mind yeah 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 i i fear so as well so again we take our snow we add snow without and this time we add the snow without fixing um the pigment with um Aqua gloss. And that might be a problem, but we'll see about that in a second. Because I I really like it when the no oh, that was too much. When the snow and the uh, pigments mix and you get the look of dirty brown snow. Which you should not eat, as well as the yellow snow. There is no 5,000 kilometers traffic, like, road works in Germany. Nowhere. Nowhere. I have never come across a 5,000 kilometers road work in Germany. Yes, German Autobahn can be heavily under construction but then again that's because we have so many trucks from Poland Ukraine Slovakia Bulgaria the Netherlands and what have you using our Autobahn there we go nicely uh, snowy uh, that was not a good idea what I just did oh that was not a good idea oh god Henrik what have you done I just moved the, the brush and the white spirit with the, um, the acrylic paint on it. That was not a good idea. Oh. That's what happens when you think about traffic jams. Gorgeous! Have you ever been to Lille and tried to, like, drive through a, a traffic, like, like a roundabout in Lille? I've never seen anything as bad as that in my life. Ever. Now, we need to blend the snow a little bit better there, and then we can put it on there. And there we have it. There we have it. Now, all, the only thing that has to happen is for this to dry. And then maybe we want to add a little more snow to the road wheels, because they look very, like, I've seen pictures of them, and they catch a lot, of more, lot, lot more snow. Oh, 
in total. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. That 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 might be fair. Yeah. There's a lot of traffic. Like rope works in Germany. That's that's a fair assessment. So there you go. That's how it looks. All right. All right. She is a dirty, dirty workhorse. That is a dirty workhorse. And now let's put this on there and see. Yeah, we need to add some more dirt to the lower underside of the turd. Well, not the underside, but the, the lower half of the turd. Um, she looks she looked great, if you ask me. I really like the look of it. Oh, I really like the look of it. And of course we need to add some more matte, like matte varnish to the storage in the front because this still looks uh, shiny. So, uh, yeah, rope rinse on the other side. We'll do once this side is done. Okay, let me now introduce you to the way I weather the tracks. Let's move this out of the way without screwing this up too much. There we go. So, I need more than that now. Okay, move this out of the way. I'll introduce this. Without throwing all of this down. Or clean up a bit so this can stay here as well. So. Alright. Now then. These tracks have been in use on a on an earlier model that I built. And that's why you can still see some snow on there and some, some dirt. Um what we want to do is we want to of course, again, blend this in with what we've done before on the rest of the tank. So, of course, we will start our weathering process with this again. The Textured Earth by Wilder. I think it's a great product. Um, used it on many of occasion. Um, great to um, add three-dimensional effects. What we want to do, and uh, I screwed this up, we, now we're in a situation where we can use a bigger brush that they, makes it possible for us to just like move faster, so we'll use this. And just like stomp it on. And don't worry about the, um, the top surfaces we will find a way to to deal with them in just a second because we will just run a sanding stick over the top surfaces cleaning them off of the paint in a second but only after we've 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 added while there's some weathering paste don't need a texture. And of course, try to catch the corners as well. Don't only try to, to catch the top top surface. And don't worry if you cover the snow, if you did it like me and reused your tracks, or if you cover anything that you did before. We will recreate the effect in a second. So, now that we've done this, what we can do is go over it again. Thus creating more three-dimensional effects. Adding more to certain areas, like this. 
And then we have to, again, we use the good old water to just clean up the brush. In for a treat. Oh god. What's going to happen in Lingen? Hamilcar is going to to buy everyone beer. I feel it. Has to be. Don't forget about the last link. Forgot about the last link. And I have to um get some new water. Because this has a fly in it. Why ever there is a fly in my water. And yes, I'm saying water like this on purpose. Alright, I'm back. Oh god, he has something for you there, Sep. That's what it sounds like. Ooh. Ooh, he'll invite you to his room. Ooh. Some guy off incoming. So thank you to the five viewers who have stick, stuck around for 53 minutes now. So, now that we've done this, the next logical step will be adding pigments. And again, it's the same two pigments that we've used for the rest of the vehicle. No, no surprise, I guess. No weird... Uh, surprises at this point and again this time we can use the bigger brush we just have to clean it and make sure that it's not wet no i'm not no trust me i'm not envious i hope all of you like my penguin uh penguin featuring um penguin featuring paper towel so take the pigments and then just spread them on We are going a little heavier on the um, the Russian earth than we are on the dark mud. Because we went heavier with the Russian earth all over the vehicle, so that's why. Pigments everywhere, pigments, don't you dare. And this creates a, a beautiful mess on your bench, so prepare yourself to, to clean the bench afterwards. Unless you don't really care about your bench or if it leaves a mess, so. And I really like the three-dimensional look that this creates. This is really what we are looking for. And we really want them to look really dirty. I think at some point I will have to buy new pigment. Although I have to say that I have had these pigments for three years now. At least. I watched your modeling heresy video on pigments the other day. I'm like, so I'm like, hmm. And here I am, using pigments to the fullest. You probably would... Um... Yes, I bought a Stuck. It was cheap on eBay. Uh, 30... I think I paid 37 euros plus shipping. Um, it's the same guy that I bought the, the War Panzer off um, a couple years ago. That like everybody on an ISM then basically bought because I told them to. Because it was cheap. Um, so yeah, I... I, I I bought it from him, 
or from that store. And now that we've done this, where have I put the, there it is. No, that's not it. There it is. Again, first, let's fix this with white spirit and make even more of a mess underneath. Yay. Because now the paper will soak. And when the paper soaks, it will so like basically soak everything underneath in pigment. Yay. Pigments for everyone. Yes, it's a good deal. If you want to, I can uh, I can give you the link, and then if you want to, you can order it yourself. Um, I made an offer to the seller because it's like either buy it now or make an offer. So I made an offer and I I saved four more euros. First, I wanted to like pay forty euros with shipping. And I think in the end I ended up at 42 euros with shipping and it was supposed to be like 46 with shipping. So I, I guess I saved an additional 4 euros. Actually, give me a second. I'll um, share the link in this chat. Yes. There we have it. Oh, damn it. Can't post that link. Damn it. Well, no, it's not the Imperial One reboxed. I checked on this. It's actually supposed to be a very good one. Yeah, it's actually supposed to be a very good one. And what we have to do now, because I don't really want to ruin my new cutting mat, is take a new piece of paper, towel, move the track onto this new piece, Close these two bottles. Move this out of the way. Move that out of the way. And then, yeah, there you go. <laughs> As you can see, this just soaked through the paper towel, but I don't think, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not that much of the pigment that soaked through, so we're good. We're good. Now, this needs to dry, and this will take up a while. You have seven stuck kits. You can never have enough stuck kits, Mike. You know this. And and a stuck A is is a great one. It's the it's Dragon Six Eight Six Zero Dragon Stuck Three A Michael Whitman Leibstandard. I think I have I myself have like three stugs left in stash. So like the majority of my stash is now stugs. Recently, and why not show you guys this now, I added a stuck to my stash when I was in Berlin. No, actually Cologne, I'm sorry. It was in Cologne. Let's pick this up. In Cologne. And I picked this up because you kind of recommended this to me um, at an earlier point. It's this beauty it's the uh oh, you can't see it's the um stoke three of eight early production italy 43. so yeah i myself now have kind of the collection of stugs in my stash because it's a panzer three variant and i love the panzer three if you can't tell so we have been going for an hour now we have seven viewers hello there to everyone Thank you for spending time with me. Um, it's a pleasure having you here. Um, it's a pleasure um, to be back doing videos more frequently. Um, I'll try to keep them coming at a frequent regular schedule. I cannot like promise that there will be a video every day, but I'll at least try and make one every week once I'm back to school. Which, of course, will be a challenge, but I think I can make it work. And um, once again, I don't want to 
say that too often, but I think I'll say it today again. Um, since YouTube has decided to um, reduce the amount of support that they will um, give to um, smaller channels like mine, or Hamilcar's for that matter, although Hamilcar's channel is not small at 25,000 subs, um, I have decided to go the route that a lot of people have gone and created a Patreon account uh, a while back, and now I reactivated it, and um, if you want to go there and support me, uh, my Patreon account is um, Hwood Modeling, of course. Patreon.com slash Hwood Modeling, so if you want to, you can go there and support me. You don't have to. I will not die if you don't. So, as you can see, they are still rather wet and uh, still drying, so... I have some time to fill and tell you guys about things that I do and will not do. So once this is dry, this time I will do it, other than like with the row wheels, we will add a coat of this. We will thin this down and apply it with a brush and again use capillary action for this to just flow in there and fix the pigments to the top surfaces. Um, that way we will... Um, prevent them from falling off. Although, no, you know what? I'm actually going to spray this on with the airbrush. I'm, I'm spraying this on with the airbrush. Of course you're a sponge. I'm not a sponge. I do stuff. And like I said, everyone is free to do whatever they want to do. You don't have to support me. If you want to support me, I'm absolutely happy about this. If you don't, fine, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Absolutely none. So, I think I used a bit too much white spray because this is actually taking quite a lot of time to dry. But never mind. I can uh, take out the other, other set of tracks that I have done a while ago. The problem with this is, like I said, one of the links kind of broke. You know what? I'll replace this one. I'll take out one link. I think I have have, have enough uh, enough uh, space to replace the one link. It broke right here, and since these are the um, easy metal links, it's actually rather easy to reopen the the connectors and take them out. Yeah, this this is this is damaged. And then just put them in there. Are you going in there? Are you going in there or not? Come on. Chop, chop. There we go. Then close them back down. And on this set of tracks, what I will have to do is do the inside. I only did the outside on these and not the inside, but this is how the outside starts to look. And of course I will add some more, um... I have, let me think, I have two tigers in the stash right now. I have a broom bar in the stash, I have a Penza 4 in the stash. I have a Zvezda truck in the stash, I have an SDK Z251 in the stash. I still have a Panzer III aus K, Panzerbefehlswagen in the stash. I have the Stooks in the stash that are incoming. I have some figure kits. And, of course, I have the secret kit that is incoming as soon as um, MBK has it. And as soon as they can uh, deliver it. So, yes. That's what I have in stash. Now what I'm doing is I have this. This is a snowy powder, also from AK. And I want to add a little bit more snow to this, this, this track run here. So let me think, how can I do this best? Um, do I need to add? Yeah, I need something to fix them to the snow too. Or at least let me, let me see how this looks before I fix it. Oh yeah, that looks great. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. And then you sprinkle this onto the tracks, only sprinkle it on, and this will create a much nicer effect than um, 
using the heavy, heavier snow that I used before. Yeah, this creates some nice effects. Yeah, I really like this. So I'll put this on and then I'll decide how to fix it. Maybe I, yeah, I think I can fix this also with um, the Argo Gloss. And you sprinkle it on just like this. Ah, uh, you're such, you're, you're, uh, spoiler alert. I hate you, Seb. You spoiler. This was supposed to be a secret. While we're at it, I can also already add the snow sprinkles to the other side of the tracks because they are still wet. And probably that will also just like tie them down a bit and then I can fix all of this with a nice coat of Agua Gloss. This just adds like a powdery snow. in between the track lengths, which is exactly what I'm looking for here. And doing it this way, I think the pigment mixes with the snow, resulting in, in some very nice tonal variation of the snow, like dirty snow. I could, but I'm not a liar. So, why would I? Yes, I have a border model Panzer IV incoming. As Sep spoiled. And I'm really looking forward to, to getting done started with this. And this is going to be a big build series in the mold of my good friend, Mr. Barkus. I want to do one of those, like, review the kit, start building the kit, build the kit. Like... On and most of it being filmed, so yeah, this is gonna be a challenge for me because I haven't done this before. So yeah, as you can see, now that we have sprinkled our tracks with the snow, um, I just have to wait for the other side to dry, and then I can just dust them both with aqua gloss to seal the snow and the dirt. We are at seventy minutes. Still six viewers, seven thumbs up. Thank you very much to those of you who have um, appreciated this video with a thumbs up. Thank you to those of you who are still around and watching, like Seb and uh, probably five others. Now we have eight thumbs up. That's even better. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Now we only have to wait for this to dry. And this will probably take some time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This looks great. You can also, by the way, use baking soda if you don't want to use the snow micro balloons from AK. That's also perfectly fine if you're operating on a, on a tight budget and you want to create snow. Perfectly fine to use baking soda for that. No difference in, in the results, I guess. I have never used baking soda, but a lot of modelers use baking soda for snow. So uh, I guess that this is perfectly fine as well. So it's four o'clock German time. I still have some time to spare here. I think we'll just continue until the tracks are done and until the tracks are on the model. And yeah, like I said, I think that we can finish this today. I, I still have some, some stowage to paint, so I'm not entirely sure. And I still have to paint the white roundel on the air recognition flag on the Panzer III. But other than that, and of course, doing doing the road wheels and the idler and the sprocket on the other side. Yes, I am. I am. It's weird. I had that plant, and then I saw your video. I was like, oh no, why, Seb? Why? <laughs> I just because now it looks as if I was copying you, um, which I'm not, and which was never my intention.
But of course, I'm learning a lot about the kit by watching your videos, which is great in a way. And I'm enjoying watching yours. So, yep. Looking forward to seeing the next episode of Sep building a Panzer IV. Because here's the thing, you never build German stuff, so this is kind of kind of interesting to see someone who is not into German armor as much as I probably am build it and, and hear their their per perspective and their opinion on, on a kit, on a Panzer IV kit. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, I know. I know you couldn't. But you know how people are, right? On the internet, like, Oh my god, he's copying him! How dare he! And I just don't want that situation to be the... Like... That, that to be the case, so... Yeah, I really like the look of those, those tracks. Yeah, they really look dirty. They really look muddy and snowy. Just the way I wanted them to look. Really, really lucky. Or, not lucky, but I really like it. And like I said, next up we will add a coat of Agua Gloss. And then I'll run a very coarse sanding stick over the top of this track. To just like have some of the, the metal surfaces on the track cleats show um, through the dirt, through the mud. Because... Let's face it, they would just, like, some of them have contact with the ground and just would be, like, scraped clean. Not all of them, but some. So, yep, yeah, that's what's going to happen after the Agua Gloss. Which is basically what we're waiting for right now. Um, tomorrow, I think I will be building the full tracks for the Panzer IV and burnishing them. And maybe, just maybe... If I feel like I can put myself through the pain of building full tracks on stream, um, we'll do that tomorrow. But like I said, it all depends on how masochistic I am going to be tomorrow because you have to love pain to build those full tracks on the stream. See, even I can comment. Oh, okay, you're talking about the, the Panzer IV. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll see about that. I'll actually look into that um, once I get my hands on the kit. Because apparently MBK said something about like middle of March. So it, it's just weird that they won't get it before the middle of March. Although you, I think you, you got yours from, from Japan, so they should, should get it quicker. Or China, actually, so they should get it quicker, so that's probably why you have yours already. Yeah. Lucky models. No clue where Lucky models is. So, no idea. I think they're in Japan. Let's see... We getting there? Yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely. It's starting to dry. You can see it drying. Yeah, dot com. You are a f you are a fucking retard. Dot com just does not make it an American uh, company. They still are somewhere in Asia. Hong Kong. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So Hong Kong, it is. Fair enough. Fair enough. So the, the question that, that I still haven't answered for myself is do I want to add some snow to the top uh, top surfaces of the Panzer IV? I'm not entirely sure. I really don't know. Because I fear that if I do this, it might just make it too much. And, and just like look over the top. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should do this? Do you think I should just not do it? Just leave it the way it is and 
not bother with it. Uh, what's your opinion? Add some snow to the top surfaces, yes or no? Oh, is that is that true? Did not know that. Okay. Damn, if I had known that, maybe if I had ordered with Lucky Models, I would have probably gotten mine uh, uh, in almost as quickly. I, I did not know that they had a fulfillment center or, or a logistical thing in the channel. Okay, here's the thing. If you go to Google and just type in LuckyModels.com, you know what you get? Young girls, young models, happy girls, kitty, girls, and pigs. This is probably not what you want. Lucky, is it Lucky Minus Models? Lucky Minus Models dot com. Is it this? No. Chart modeling, fashion models, beautiful girls, glamour models. What the hell? I, Jesus. LuckyModel.com, not LuckyModels.com. I hate you. Jesus, <laughs> like... Ah. Yeah, but without the S. It's just Lucky Model, not Lucky Models. I found it. LuckyModel.com. Okay. Yak Panther G2 from Ryefield Models. Panzer IV, out G, mid, late, two in one. Yes, that's what I ordered. What, how much is it? 30 euros 80? That's... that's cheap. Damn. Yeah, but with shipping, yeah, it's along the lines of what I paid for it. World War II, Toons, British Infantry Tank, A12, Matilda. From Meng. Oh, no, it's one of those, those funky looking ones. World War Toons, yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, Matilda. Never built a Matilda. Maybe that's a long, like... What, what's the fuss with this Faun L900 that everyone wants to build? The Das Valk Faun L900. I've, I've heard a lot of people really into that kit. Is it that good? Am I missing something? Not having one. Huh, you want one. Okay. So you have to tell us back to send you one. Oh my lord, it's Dustin. Jesus, you're up early. I hope you did not set an alarm so you could catch one of my live streams. <laughs> like, I want to see his live stream. Oh, let's set an alarm. Let's get up earlier than normal. Uh, glad to have you here. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing a while. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're doing okay. It was nice catching one of your live streams or hangouts, actually. Um, yeah, it's it's about ninety euros on on Lucky Model, Seb. So. Maybe, just maybe, you have to spend some money on a kit for once. Actually, while we're at it, I put another uh, built model of mine on eBay today, uh, which is only half painted. Let's see how much I can fetch with that. Let's see what I can fetch with this. Where is it? Why is it not listed? There it is. Oh, zero offers. Sad. Yeah, no, like 93 euros. Yeah. 81 for the model plus 12 shipping. Jesus. Snowstorms. It's 20 degrees Celsius over here, so maybe you want to leave the States and move to, to a place more sunny and warm. Where global warming has really hit. You know? Oh, can you see who is in chat? Like, is it possible to see? Oh, yes, it is. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's not. Damn it. I thought I could see who's actually currently watching the live stream. So, we're almost at the point where our tracks are, are dry and where we can uh, set up the airbrush. And as soon as I set up the airbrush, you will probably all just like fall deaf. Because the problem is the compressor is right next to um, the cell phone that I'm currently using to um, to film this live stream. So um, I'm not entirely sure if I want to actually uh, spray while on a live stream. So I have to, to think about this and consider if I really want to, to make you guys go deaf or do this off stream. I'll, I'll see about that in a second. It's 69 from MDK. Well, that's cheaper than uh, the Lucky model then. I, I don't even know the, the company that's there. Is it a German company? Is it is it an Asian company? What, what are they? Or like American or... That's there. It sounds German to me. So let's see what... what the almighty Google says. <laughs> das Werk. You cannot find anything about this company. I can't at least. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes that makes a ton of sense. So it's German then. Okay. Okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. And maybe that's why the German uh, sellers have it cheaper than the um, the Hong Kong seller then. Because, you know, they have to pay import. Whereas the Germans don't. And so that might be the main reason or the main difference. Um... Was she fond of Rusty? Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, um, what do you guys think? Do you want me to, to spray these with you still on and you're probably falling off your chair because of the, the noise the compressor is going to make? Or is it fine with you if I do this off stream and we'll cut this one short after one and a half hours in about seven minutes? I'll just leave that decision up to you guys. Keep going. So you really want me? Okay. Okay. So I'll set up the airbrush and you're probably going to die. And hopefully the phone is not falling off when the airbrush starts screaming like a madman. All right, um, hold your breath. I'll turn on the compressor now. Everybody's still alive. The phone did not fall. Oh, look, we all we, we have hit double digit viewers. Hello, guys. I appreciate all of you coming here watching this live stream. I really appreciate that. We are currently working on the tracks of my Panzer 3. Um, I've added mud and pigments and snow, and we will be covering them with a very light dusting of Alclad's Agua Gloss lacquer. No, it's not actually lacquer, it's an it's like an acrylic, acrylic class code. And um, we're using this to, to seal in pigments and snow 
onto our track surfaces here without using pigment fixer or, or, or glue because this creates a very very strong bond Ilga 21 hello there whoever you are I've never seen you on one of my live streams but I appreciate you being here oh yeah we have to dust them from very like very highly up top yeah okay I'll go with the first one now I'm, I'm just warning you guys as soon as the compressor starts again it's going to get loud I do have to change my thumbnail. Why do I have to change my thumbnail? Ah, damn it, yeah. That's what I figured. We're losing a lot of the snow. We're basically losing all of the snow. Yeah, just lost all of the snow. With the dusting. Yeah, I just lost all of the snow. I need to find a different way to do this then. Yay! I love this. Oh, it's working on this side. Where I use the... Oh. Where I use the white spirit. Okay, so maybe I have to fix them with white spirit first, and then I can... Spray them with agua gloss. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Why do I have to change the thumbnail, Seb? Would you mind telling me? Son of a bitch. I know. I know. It's been way too long. Considering that I really wanted this to be nothing but a six week build. Or just a six week build. And then it took me a lot longer. A lot, lot longer. But I think I'm getting there. I think I'm getting there. Okay. Now we have to let this set for a second and then we can just spray it with the aqua gloss. Woo. Oh, gotta love some over spray. That's why I ordered the spray booth, which should be here tomorrow. Yowza. Yowza. It 
yes, you will see a video about the new spray booth. I will do a review of the spray booth. I got it off eBay. It was about 75 euros. It's not like the most expensive or most like fancy spray booth. It's just a normal spray booth. <laughs> Nothing like special about it, I guess. It's one of those that you can actually like fold back together and just store like as if it's a suitcase. Has an LED light. It has a fan. Just a normal spray booth, I guess. Because this is not healthy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, help me. Oh. This can't be healthy. Oh, the smell of this is ridiculous. I need to go and open the window. I'll be right back. Oh boy. No, hairy arm. Woo! I always wanted to show my hairy arm on camera. Yes, I open the window now. Yeah, that, that might just be more healthier for me. So we now have five viewers. Where have all the viewers go? Did I talk them out of staying? Okay. I fear I did. So. Let's clean the airbrush while we wait, right? Shall we? Yes, we shall. Because, and this is, this is a big tip. If you ever use Agua Gloss to uh, gloss coat your models, and you do not clean your airbrush afterwards, you can just as well throw your airbrush away. What comes naturally to me? Could you repeat? Like, I don't remember what I said, Seb. What comes naturally to me? Oh, yeah, that driving people away. Is that what you mean? I appreciate the love, so I keep it on. Alright, the tracks look nice. Overgloss did not do what I wanted it to do, so I will have to go over it again a little later, but first I need to clean this airbrush I'm using an Infinity from Harder and Steenbag which is a rather pricey airbrush so ruining this would not be uh, recommended I guess except for if you can like throw 200 euros out of the window like this and buy a new one, then knock yourself out. If you're more like me and uh, you want to reuse your airbrush, clean it properly after using Aqua Gloss because this stuff dries rock solid. And when I say rock solid, I mean like really rock solid. Probably one of the sturdiest, toughest um, gloss products, acrylic glosses on the market. <laughs> and it has a nice smell to it. I don't know. I like it. I like the smell. It's not too, like... It doesn't smell toxic enough. That's probably why I'm using no insulator right now. Which I should do. That's why I ordered one. 
know. There's still paint in there. Why is there still paint? In Why is there green paint in there? So, didn't paint anything green. Well, I did not paint anything green, at least not that I know of. Oh wait, yep, this might still be remnants of the interior green-gray that I used on the airplane that I then started, or just threw in the bin, because it was a bitch. Yeah. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel today, if you enjoy the content that I produce. If you do not enjoy the content that I produce, you don't definitely, you don't have to subscribe to my channel. If you are a subscriber of my channel and you want to go a step further, I recently have created a Patreon account, or actually reactivated a Patreon account. If you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, even if it's just 50 cents, that would be appreciated very much so. You can find me on patreon.com slash hwoodmodeling. It's like an at read. It's ridiculous. It's an at read. What, 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 what? Damn it. All right. Okay. I think at this point I will end this live stream after a solid almost 100 minutes. Um, because we still have to wait for the tracks to properly dry, like the alkalos needs to properly dry, which it has not yet done. And, um, I have to check on my, uh, my missus. And, um, I might be back later on tonight. If not, catch me tomorrow. Definitely. I will be on tomorrow for sure. Thank you.